ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Today we're going to be mining a little bit of cryptocurrency with a Dell, I believe it's an Inspiron uh, D06S system. It came with an i3, but I upgraded the chip to an i7. I'll get you more of the particulars in the video. Let's take a look and see what we can do. Alright, so first off, let's try out Better Hash. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed with the hash that I get from this and getting twice as much as I would normally from Miner Gate. Which is nice. Looks like this is an 8 core i7. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's, uh, it's hashing a lot nicer than the Xeon chip I just reviewed. Next up, let's take a look at Nice Hash and, uh,. It's kind of interesting. I am mining. <laughs> I'm mining half for Monero and half for something else. It gives me those dual numbers, and you know what? Maybe those dual numbers really mean you're mining the same thing twice, or maybe what it means is that uh, I'm mining that much. On the top, it means I'm mining that much Monero, and on the bottom, it means I'm mining that much Phantom Coin. You know, if someone could explain that for me, I would really appreciate it, because this is really starting to get kind of confusing. Either way, either way, if you add up those two hashes, it's about as much as I was making on better hash. Next up, we have nice hash. Honestly, I haven't been using nice hash all that much recently because I just keep getting socket errors no matter what I do. When I run it, it looks like I'm getting what's that? Twenty nine, thirty nine cents. Uh, it's a, it's a little. It's not definitely not a lot, but it's something. And something is better than nothing. Yep, yep. Anyways, that's it for me. I am your friendly neighborhood cryptocurrency tech guy. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff and could use subscribers right now. And uh, have a good one. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.